Hey plant gang, well the genus of this plant has changed and I guess I just have to get used to it. Uh, this is formerly Mahonia Baileyi. Now this is uh, Berberus Baileyi or Baileyi, uh, however you want to pronounce it, it's okay with me. Uh, but here we are, this is end of January, beginning of February. And here we've got these uh, winter flowers starting to come on this plant. Now uh, this is kind of a tough, uh, tough plant. It's very, uh, a very coarse sh uh, textured shrub, kind of sharp to the touch, uh, but one that's actually been a little bit invasive in our native woodlands. Uh, this is a non-native plant, and so really planting this is not necessarily uh, advised. There are other uh, Mahonias or Berberis in this category that are a little bit more uh, suggested for planting, but this one uh, tends to get into our woodlands and so definitely not planted along the edges of woodlands, perhaps uh, in a parking lot median where you absolutely couldn't uh, have anybody walk through uh, because you wouldn't want to walk through this. It's a tough plant, got a lot of kind of sharp uh, edges to it, uh, but uh, a cool plant that's uh, kind of clumsy looking, I would say, in the landscape, uh, but one you need to know and be able to, to identify. So leatherleaf Mahonia, this is a broad-leafed evergreen. It is in the Berberidaceae family, native to western China. Hardy from zones 7 through 9, can be anywhere between 4 and 10 foot tall. Uh, when I see it escaped into the woodlands in the deep shade, it's often a lot shorter than uh, when I see it out in uh, full sun. A uh, 3 to 8 foot wide would be a very large one, would be 8 foot wide, but uh, typically a, quite, a, quite a bit narrower than it is tall. Uh, bloom time, uh, beginning of February on into April. It does bloom with a yellow, um, kind of a long uh, yellow bloom that is quite fragrant, a nicely fragrant bloom. Uh, it can be quite nice uh, to encounter uh, because it has a little bit of a lemony fragrance to it. Uh, it does attract birds uh, that come and get the fruit uh, that are produced after uh, the flowers. And the fruit is also quite beautiful. Uh, it, can, it lays on that uh, evergreen foliage and is quite nice. But again, uh, this is a plant that really we do not plant uh, because of it has potential uh, to escape into our native woodlands. And when you encounter it and need to walk through it in a native woodland, it's not a nice plant whatsoever. Here's a landscape tip. This plant has been introduced into the southeastern United States and has escaped into gardens in naturalized areas from Maryland and Virginia south to Alabama and Florida.